हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू दिस लेक्चर सीरीज ऑन फ्लाइट मैकेनिक्स एंड कंट्रोल आई विल कवर सम ऑफ द की टॉपिक्स ऑफ फ्लाइट मैकेनिक्स दैट इज यूजली टॉट ड्यूरिंग द कोर्स वर्क इन एरोस्पेस इंजीनियरिंग सो टूडेज टॉपिक विल बी द एक्सेस सिस्टम so what is um, uh, the access system uh, so it is one of the fundamental topics of aircraft equations of of motion so we'll go through uh, why are we studying this and what is the importance of this topic in flight uh, uh, or aircraft equations of motion while dealing with flight dynamics problems we often need to uh, estimate or calculate several coordinate systems for specifying the position velocity forces and moments acting on the vehicle so if you have one vehicle like this you have one aircraft so while moving forward so the thrust is acting in this way and the lift is acting upwards and the weight is acting downwards and the drag is acting in this direction so these are the forces acting on the vehicle so to define these forces we need some kind of reference coordinate system we consider the coordinate systems as per our convenience so that the equations of motion for the vehicle can be formulated with ease out of many types of conventions one is the inertial access system so i'll write it down so so that it would be easy for everybody to note down later so we can uh, call this as this is o x i y i z i so this is the uh inertial axis system so this is one type of system which we usually consider as we are well aware of the fact that newton's laws of motion are valid only when the acceleration is measured with respect to an inertial frame or for example the equation f equal to ma this equation describes the acceleration with respect to an inertial frame which is actually at rest in the universe however it is nearly impossible to find such a coordinate system how can we uh, find one uh, absolutely fixed coordinate system with respect to uh, our universe so in order to deal with such a practical problem we use an alternative reference system that is fixed at the center of earth so to deal with such such such, such a uh, practical problem we let us take let us take this this is if this is earth i'm sorry my drawings are not that good and we can consider at the center of the earth one coordinate system 
and it is we can name it as same as this so this is origin o this is x i y i and z i okay okay so uh, so we can consider uh, an alternative uh, coordinate system at the center of this earth and this inertial frame now would be fixed at that center but as a matter of fact we should also acknowledge the fact that earth is not stationary it is rotating it is moving so it is better to define another reference system which rotates which rotates with the uh, earth's uh, motion angular motion so uh, that would be called as earth fixed Access system. I'll call it and name it as X uh, E uh, Y E and Z E. Okay, so how can we describe that axis here? So it would be. Uh, uh, I mean originated at the same place it will be having the z axis along the same direction as z i it will have a uh, rotating frame it is fixed to the rotating frame so as the earth rotates about its own axis so accordingly y e this is ZE and this is XE so it rotates it rotates like this okay fine so uh, in a few moments we will see how we need different kinds of transformation if not uh, we'll see in the next lecture but yes we'll let us see how the transformations are required uh, to uh, evaluate to calculate the forces moments position velocity these parameters from one reference frame to another reference frame However, in order to describe the motion of the flight vehicle, we need to perform angular transformations. And to do so, see if this, <coughs> this reference frame is rotating, so we need to consider there would be an angular velocity. We can call it as omega e. Right? So we need to proceed in this fashion okay we will see it later now another kind of axis system is known as the body fixed axis system which is named as x b y b Z B. Okay. So, how would it look like? So, if so, as the name name says, it is body fixed. So, if we consider one aircraft like this, and this is the wing. 
this is the tail plane okay now the body fixed coordinate system is usually considered at the center of gravity but it is not necessary it is just for our convenience so suppose we take the center of gravity somewhere here uh, <clears throat> so the body fixed coordinate system looks something like this so L, the, the convention is the x axis and the z axis should lie in a plane which is sim in which the the vehicle has design symmetry so most of the aircrafts are symmetric to uh, sym symmetric in design so for example the symmetry plane lies in the at the uh, center of the fuselage so fuselage is this part this part where the uh, people sit or uh, in a cargo vehicle cargo aircraft cargo uh, uh, i mean the goods or whatever cargo is there it is kept inside there so that is called fuselage and these are the wings and this is the tail plane this 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 the, you can call this is cockpit Co cockpit is one of the uh, part of the fuselage so anyways so the body fixed in the body fixed coordinate system if this is cg center of gravity so this is zb this is xb and yb is usually taken along the wing now the general convention is the x axis which is positive x axis should be taken along the forward motion of the vehicle similarly y y positive y axis should be taken from the sym symmetry plane which is obviously x z plane right so the y b should be perpendicular to this plane and should be towards right wing and the z axis should be perpendicular to these two axes so after constructing this this is very critical usually people do mistakes so why i am telling is this because this should follow after constructing this this should follow the right hand rule that means when you rotate your hand right hand from x axis towards y axis the z axis should be towards your thumb okay so z axis here remain uh, downwards okay so uh, now we need to ask ourselves that why do we need a body fixed coordinate system and why do we need this earth fixed coordinate system inertial frame why why so many so this is uh, for our own convenience how we'll see while solving any physics problem or mechanics problem we usually what do we do we calculate the forces the moments for example you here you see uh, uh, the vehicle is there so the, these are the forces so if if your cg is somewhere here the lift and 
weight is actually causing the difference in them is causing a moment either this direction or this direction right so the moment about the cg if we take the cg as reference similarly the thrust vector as well as drag vector also causing moments around the cg so we need to calculate this l w weight lift drag thrust all these forces and the moments associated to them so during similar calculations flight vehicle has to be in its body fixed coordinate system so when we are calculating the forces we are calculating with respect to the body so for example here we need to take this uh center of gravity and we can find out how much force is acting on it by using some sensors some thrust measuring devices some drag uh, 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 uh profile of the entire vehicle or uh, i mean which already had been tested in wind tunnel or real flight te test conditions uh, weight had already been test uh, i mean measured when the vehicle was at rest so these things had to be um, measured or calculated and when we use a body fixed coordinate system it becomes easy for us to solve this or calculate this uh, parameters however when when uh, you if if you don't want to measure it from the body axis or you get the data from the body axis system but you are at the at somewhere uh, somewhere at a remote location so how can you say that okay my position is uh, something some value how can you say ki your vehicle's position is that so to do so to do so you need transformations you need for example i'll explain you in a better manner so for example uh you you this, i am explaining this because once you get a pictorial representation you will you can correlate it with the real conditions so for example so everyone uh, um, might be aware of the airports so suppose this is the runway runway of the air airport so uh, okay so th suppose there is one atc tower atc tower means air traffic control tower i'm just uh, illustrating the view nothing else so this is one antenna right okay so now these are some building structures over there this is uh, suppose one hangar where aircrafts can reside uh, now these are some trees trees are there anyways now suppose there is uh, uh th th there is one aircraft which is going which, which is ready to take off okay so this is this is one aircraft which which is ready to take off now suppose you are standing here somewhere here here you are standing with uh, and you are observing the events now the aircraft is slowly uh, um, taking acceleration to go and take off 
so eventually it takes off so i'll draw that also okay so this is the wing aircraft now uh, suppose your friend is sitting inside um, uh, inside the vehicle as a passenger so and the windows are closed uh, you, they can't see outside suppose so now the uh, the your friend is having the access to the flight uh, sensor systems so he is able to get all the sensor data the forces the moments everything he is able to uh, process and calculate inside who is sitting inside this vehicle so it has already taken off now the vehicle is undergoing immense drag it has thrust this is thrust this is drag this is weight and this is lift i am drawing the access system first so it is not visible here right i like i'll expand this little better way okay okay so suppose so the body fixed coordinate system look like this this way then this way um, your wing is the, in this manner so your y axis is along this and your z axis is along this right so x b z b and this is y b but the runway is this right so weight is acting in this manner okay the thrust is acting along this direction thrust drag is in this direction okay and the lift is along this direction right okay fine so now your friend is sitting inside the vehicle and he is able to find out everything in the body fixed coordinate system but that means what he is able to get the lift parameter the thrust the weight and the drag and he is able to uh, get all those data now you wanted you said hey hey uh, i can see you flying i can see you going at a great speed but your friend he is inside the vehicle and the windows are closed he is saying no i can't see myself moving what i can see is only a bunch of data from the sensors on my screen and these data are giving me huge force and moment results now he can then you said okay fine you do one thing you 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 send me those data online and i will try to uh, match it with your position and velocity which i am able to observe which who are not able to observe so here again the entire thing boils down to the force and i mean the newton second law which is f equal to ma there might be some other terms but this is one of the simplest formula you will ever get and we usually deal with this the beauty of this equation is this side it is cos this is the force term and this is the mass of the vehicle acceleration of the vehicle 
and so this side we call it as effect okay so once there is force for example here it is thrust you get acceleration so your friend is able to see this he is able to measure this and you are able to measure this so for you for you this thing a this uh, acceleration from acceleration position velocity everything is your concern now so as you are standing here you have a fixed coordinate system with respect to you you are not moving so let us consider this is in this manner okay so this is y i x i and z i and this is origin so from here till here the vector which defines the position is called position vector right and the orientation orientation means the orientation means i, I haven't uh, covered it i'll quickly give you an um, insight uh, about what is orientation for example if you have uh, uh, one inertial frame here like this this is xi this is yi and this is z i and initially your body fixed coordinate system was also coinciding with this now you get one pitch motion so this is pitch motion pitch motion means your uh, from your reference look point your vehicle front part elevates while the lower part descends so the coordinate system with respect to this will look something like this x body z body so this way it moved right and y body will be it 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 it, it has just rotated about the y axis so y b will be along the same direction and this angle we call it as pitch angle and the pitch angle is denoted with theta so this is called pitch 